Hello, YouTube turtle lovers. I'm going to do a small update on my turtle enclosure. I have uh, 11 uh, box turtles in the enclosure. It's about uh, 45, 50 degrees today. My Russian tortoise is uh, hunkered down in the uh, warmest spot in the entire enclosure today. It's about uh, noon, but the wind is blowing about 30 miles an hour, and some of the box turtles uh, have been sunbathing a little bit, but uh, I've been working on my enclosure just a little bit more. And uh, I have a number of hiding places for the uh, uh, box turtles and for the Russian tortoise. And I've got some food here, and I'm going to put it onto their little feeding block here. I'm going to actually move this uh, feeding block uh, in this video. At least I plan on it. i got a mixture of beef heart and uh, carp eggs right there. And it's sticky. And uh, the uh, Russian tortoise loves dry cat food. I put a little bit of that on there. And uh, Russian tortoises may look sort of slow and stupid, but it knows that I just put cat food onto the feeding area here. And uh, this is the hibernation chamber. Underneath this piece of wood here is a hole that goes down into the ground about three feet. And uh, during the severe cold winter weather, I force my uh, box turtles to hibernate inside of that chamber. They have uh, opportunity to come and go as they would like. Uh, behind the cinder block here is a uh, tunnel that leads into the hibernation chamber on this side. And over here, there's another tunnel that leads into the hibernation chamber right there. Now, I have them covered up right now because I worked extensively on their hibernation chamber yesterday. Um, I uh, had a problem with a, a mouse problem, and up on the side of the hill here, I decided I was going to try to drown out a mouse, and it had dug a hole from up on the hill underneath the uh, cinder block retaining wall, underneath the ground, and into the bottom of my uh, hibernation chamber. And when I tried to drown out the mouse, I ended up filling my hibernation chamber up with water, and uh, I still had one box turtle hibernating in there. And, I uh, was able to save it, and it didn't uh, was none the worse for getting all wet. And uh, over here, I have a, a a tunnel, a hide area um, that goes back in to uh, the uh, ground. I've got it covered with cinder blocks, and then on top of that, dirt. And uh, this is uh, goes back so far that I can't even reach the back of the uh, the hole. I doubt if any of that will come up on the uh, video camera, but uh, that's a, a quite an extensive hiding area that some of my uh, box turtles used for uh, wintering over last winter. And this is a very short uh, hide area. It's uh, so short that I can't even get my uh, hand into it. And here's another short hiding area that I have. It's uh, on the side of the hill here and if I zoom in with well if I just carry the camera inside it uh, I can see a turtle back there I doubt if I don't know if you can see it or not but uh, he's hiding back there in the back of this uh, half of a five gallon bucket and uh, yeah he shows up really good <laughs> I'll be darned and then uh, this hide here is another one that you can see some of the dirt that's been dug up in the back. And uh, I've got a number of these places for the turtles to hide in during the day. In the summertime, it's extremely hot. And uh, there isn't too much shade here. And turtles uh, uh, control the temperature of their bodies by uh, being in the sun or uh, in the shade. And uh, I need to have a place for them uh, to hide in the summertime away from the sun. And uh, on this side of the pond, pond uh, turtle enclosure, I have a um, bonsai cherry tree. 
that I'm bonsaiing. I'm keeping it pruned off so that it provides shade for my wading pool for the uh, box turtles. Box turtles absolutely love the back side of this old TV set that I have here. It uh, has the grooved channels at this end here that allow the good purchase for the turtles to go in. And sometimes during the summer they'll sit in there for four or five hours at a time just soaking up the water. Uh, a lot of people don't know about their turtles' uh, love of uh, box turtles. Uh, the northern long-toed uh, box turtles don't seem to have as much love of uh, water as the uh, ornate box turtles, but uh, they both uh, utilize that. The one turtle I have, tortoise, that I have that doesn't ever utilize the water as far as I know is the Russian tortoise. And uh, she, I call her Boris or Natasha, and uh, she never as far as I know, ever drinks water, but it's there for her if she wants it, and she probably drinks it on occasion. Um, the hibernation chamber, uh, I'll uh, show you what that looks like. Uh, underneath this uh, piece of round wood uh, is a top of a plastic garbage can, and then uh, it goes down into the uh, ground. I'll just set the camera right there for a moment. Hi there. And uh, I lifted the top off. And uh, here is the uh, uncovered uh, portion of the hibernation chamber. Yesterday I filled this area in underneath the ground with concrete and rocks to pry, try to prevent the uh, tunneling action of the mice from ever getting back into the tunnel. And I think I've succeeded. I put in some uh, plastic uh, material as a dam. And uh, down in the bottom of the hole, this is solid concrete. Now in the wintertime, what I do is I fill the hole up to about this level, uh, about 12 to 13 inches down below the surface level, fill the entire bottom part of this uh, uh, hibernation chamber up with uh, material so that they are well below the freezing level when they burrow down into the bottom uh, underneath the uh, mixture of peat moss and leaves and uh, soil that I have mixed together. And uh, I put concrete in the bottom there. It is hard pan, I know, on the bottom of this, but I'm uh, curing the concrete right now. And uh, this is another one of the uh, areas that the uh, turtles uh, utilize. They get to use this in the summertime if they want to go really deep underground where it's really cool. They tend to really like uh, these uh, shallower uh, high, uh, chambers that I have placed uh, in the ground so that uh, I'm not sure exactly but my camera's getting a little bit of light and I think it might actually show what's going on in that. I can't really see, but there's probably some uh, little box turtles in there. This concludes this video.